Okay, so now we want to make a behavior so that our hearts show and that it has a heart counter. So it would be similar to what we did for the health. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my main character. Click edit. Click behavior. Double click on that run jump. Okay, so now I'm back at the bottom. We are going to go ahead and start with a collision trigger. So go to triggers. Collision. And we'll set it to activate whenever it touches a star or sorry or a heart. So I have mine. Oh, this is why we want to rename it. I didn't rename mine, so that's a problem. So that's my fault. Let me go ahead and go back. That's okay. I'll go back to my main page and click edit. And it's let's go ahead and rename that. So I'm gonna have that heart or whatever you named yours. So like if yours is a spike, you might want to put spikes. I have that down. I'm going to go back to my main character, edit, behavior, double click the run and jump. So now I go back to that original collision box. And now I'm going to go to whenever uh, the collision here with the heart. And now we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and get that where we need to go. Next, we have to do a number. So just like up here. So we have to go to logic and math. Click on the number. And this is going to be called. I'm going to go ahead and call this the hearts. Now we need to add a label to display the total to the player. Let's see. Go to, there it is, GUI for the label. Like I said, it's a new program for me too, so I'm still uh, in the feel out process. Go ahead and click on that where it says label. We want the starting value to be zero. We want that to, that's what's going to show on um, on the pop of board. So we see how we had this set to three, so it has health three. So now we're going to have zero. Hit OK. And now we need to add another label, just like above. And then we need to rename that one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and name mine hearts. If you have diamonds or whatever you have yours. Um, you see on my other one, I think I just had it named stars on X and I never renamed it diamonds. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK for hearts. And go ahead and connect. We want to hit the hit button to plus. So every time it gets hit, the zero will go plus. And then we'll go ahead and hit that at the value. I'm going to go ahead and change the color. And go ahead and make it red for hearts. Change that word hearts. All right, and you'll see it there. So I'm going to go back to that main screen. I'm going to go ahead and move the word hearts over and move that zero over. And let's see if I did this correctly. Hit the play button. All right, and it looks like it's it, we did it correctly. So it's c collecting the hearts and still taking down my health. So go back to edit game. Okay, next, make it more interesting. We're gonna go ahead and click back on our sprite, edit, and behaviors. Go back to those behaviors. We're going to go ahead and click on sound effect. So every time the collision happens, uh, there's some sort of sound effect with the heart. So I'm going to go ahead and click on, let's see where we got components and sound. So every time you hit the heart, it'll play something. So let's go ahead and click on that. And you can choose from a sound. Oh, 
Let's see what happened. Oh, there it is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the effects button, and you can choose from any one of these. Uh, let's see here. That's a damage one interaction. And it, you you can't hear it because when I'm recording, it doesn't play the sounds on my computer, but different ones will do different sounds. So I'm just going to click one. Hit OK. And it has interaction 18. And I hit OK. And now every time it goes over the heart, it'll... it'll now I want to create a sound effect for the collision uh, for the whenever it touches uh, my fire or your spikes or whatever you have created. So I'm going to click on components again, click the sound one again, so that every time it hits something, it'll make that sound effect. So go ahead and pick a sound effect for you to uh, for you to play whenever it touches something. So I'm going to hit explosion and. Yeah, there's like a bad explosion there. So I'm hitting OK and hit OK and now that should work. OK, and now let's go ahead and create theme music. So I'm going to hit sound effect from the component section and click instead of the effects, I'm going to click music. And then I'm just going to double click on one of these. And I hit OK. But this time, I want it to loop. And this way, I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume down. That way, it doesn't drown out everything. But now I need to create one trigger so that, whoops, let me go ahead and click the trigger. Here we go. So that whenever the game restarts, it'll uh, just keep playing on its own. Now I want to make sure that everything I created worked. All right, I can hear my music and everything is working. Oh yeah, yep, all my sound effects work. So we just created a full functioning game now this is where you go back and you modify and you make it like perfect. So let me go ahead and get out of this because it's playing in my, my earphone. So that's basically it in terms of creating games. But there's so much more you can do with this. But this is the beginning part. And I just wanted to show you how to navigate through the program. Now some of you are going to take it that next step, which is what I want. Like I said, we've been working on it for a couple of weeks, and some of you are going to be happy with just making this game as, as perfect as, you can, as it can be. So go ahead and work on that. Um, for my virtual students, if you have questions, um, I'm going to just refer you back to the video. Do the videos step by step. And, um, and if we need to do a one-on-one -on, -one on Fridays so I can see your screen, we can solve the problems that way. But just keep after it. This can be as fun as you want it. So have, have fun. Enjoy yourself. And that's that.